super people, it's Auntie Z, your chief cheerleader at Shape Up African, where I encourage you and me to live a healthy lifestyle from our African heritage. If we've never met before, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and join the super family. What are you waiting for? Join the super family. Hit the notification bell, guys, so that you never miss a video from me. This month, guys, I've been showing you essential foods you can make at home that are really essential for breakfast. I've shown you how to make whole wheat bread, I've shown you how to make butter, I've shown you how to make sardine, but your breakfast table is not going to be complete if you do not have some homemade yogurt. All you need for this recipe, my friend, are just two ingredients, no special equipment. In fact, if you cook along with me right now, you're going to have a delicious bowl of homemade yogurt for breakfast. You guys know that I love making my own food at home for obvious reasons. You know exactly what's in your food and you can add all your favorite ingredients. That's amazing, right? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. But first of all, let me tell you why you should definitely make your own yogurt at home. Yogurt comes from milk. Therefore, yogurt lovers will definitely enjoy a dose of animal protein and other nutrients like vitamin C, B2, B12, vitamin D, potassium, and magnesium, amongst others. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. Anytime you hear yogurt, think of this booze word, probiotic. Yogurt, probiotics. Yogurt, probiotics. Yogurt, probiotics. Yogurt, probiotics. Yogurt, pro In fact, make it a song. Do what you need to do, but take note of probiotics. Probiotics are friendly bacteria that are naturally present in the digestive system. And guess what? Live strains of this good bacteria are also present in your gut. There is scientific evidence that shows that probiotics actually help to boost your immune system and promote a healthy digestive tract. And there are many other health benefits attached to eating yogurt on a daily basis. Now, I want you to learn this with me, okay? Yogurt will give you strong bones. Hey, yogurt reduces high blood pressure. Learn that with me, let's go. <laughs> Are you singing already? Because this is not only a cooking class, we need to learn. <laughs> All right, let's go, one more time. Yogurt will give you strong bones. Hey, yogurt reduces high blood pressure. Yogurt makes you feel fuller longer. Win! Yogurt is so healthy for your gut flora. Hey, yogurt, 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 come on. It's your yogurt daily. Hey, yogurt, 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 yogurt. Hey, yogurt is great for you guys. All right, guys, let me walk you through the ingredients and then we are going to start the process. <laughs> for this recipe, guys, we need two liters of milk. Guys, as you can see, I'm using this milk, which is 3,8% fat. You can use 2% or skim milk. But actually, um, you're going to notice that whenever fat percentage is reduced or is lowered, like if you buy milk and you have like 0.1% fat, you're going to realize that the lower the percentage of fat, the more the sugar. Okay, they have to replace the fat with sugar to give the milk some taste. So that is why I recommend that you get milk that is either 2% fat or 3% fat, that is 2% and above. And you're going to notice here it's written on again technique that is here without gene modification. So this milk is really good quality, it has not been modified anyhow. So these are the things that I really uh, take note of. If we take a look at the label guys, you're going to see the percentage fat which is written here as fat um, 3.8 grams in 100 milliliters and the carbohydrates is 4.4 grams and which is also sugar, okay? 4.4 grams per 100 milliliters is okay. But whenever the fat percentage is like 0.1, you're going to realize that the sugar quantity is always high, high like um, from six grams or eight, sometimes even 11 grams in 100 grams, and that is just way too much. So pay attention to the label when you're purchasing your milk or any other food. Then I'm also using yogurt, and this is just plain Greek yogurt, 2% fat as well, like I mentioned before. Um, don't go for the 0.5%, that is too low, and um, it's going to be generally be replaced with sugar, and we do not want that. So I want to make Greek style yogurt, so I'm using Greek yogurt. Also, the most important thing that you should look for when you're buying the yogurt that you want to use to make your own yogurt at home, you want to make sure that your yogurt has active 
cultures that is cultures that are still alive because that is what is going to transform your milk into yogurt and so you are going to realize that there are some yogurts that do not have active cultures so you want to make sure that you look at the label of your yogurt it should read active cultures if I show you the label here you're going to see active cultures it's in German that I could actually show you so as you can see here it is written active cultures and then there is a list of the cultures that are here you have the Bulgaricus Themophilus something something Nini that I can't even pronounce but you can see you can always you would know you would know if um, the yogurt has active cultures or not if your yogurt doesn't have active cultures like this one active culture and active cultures then do not purchase it it's not going to work for your homemade yogurt we're going to start by pouring in our milk inside a pot like this one this is a cast iron pot and I really love the cast iron pot because it really conserves heat so once you start heating on medium heat and the pot is hot you can actually just put off the fire so let's pour in all of that milk in there then set your heat to medium and then begin to stir we want to bring this milk to close to a boil that is about 93 to 95 degrees your milk should not boil remember that it shouldn't boil now you want to continuously stir your milk gently guys because we want to make sure that the bottom doesn't scorch and milk does not boil over the heating step guys is very necessary to change the protein structure of the milk this is what is going to enable your milk to set as a solid instead of separating okay I don't know if you get what I mean so um, if you have a thermometer a kitchen thermometer to make sure that your milk doesn't boil then go ahead and stick that in but also you can view it and know exactly when the milk is beginning to boil when it's about 90 degrees okay it's really really hot to the touch but it isn't it isn't boiling we're just going to keep stirring until we get to that 93 95 degree uh, point where the milk is almost boiling but it's not so as you can see um, the milk is getting warmer and warmer actually it's already getting hot and you're going to notice the bubbles the little bit of bubbles that are on the side of the pot so this is the hint that um, you know that the milk is getting really hot so we're just going to stir this for a couple of minutes until the milk reaches that 95 degrees and then we're going to take it off all right guys as you can see the milk is really really hot now and I can tell from the foam on my spatula and also the, the heat that is heating against me if you do not have a kitchen thermometer the way you can check if your milk is really hot is by using a spoon like this and tasting the milk on the back of your palm if it burns ow oh my goodness then you know that your milk is really really hot it's about 93 to 95 degrees okay guys we're going to take this off and set it aside just like this and then we're going to let it cool to about 40 degrees that is almost body temperature okay so we have cooled down our milk to about 40 degrees you know the temperature when you have a little bit of a fever that hot we're going to thin out the store-bought yogurt by mixing it with one cup of milk so go ahead and mix that really well until it is smooth and then pour back the mixture into the pot with the milk stir that really well and then leave it in a warm place preferably the oven at 50 degrees celsius to set guys i let the yogurt set overnight so this is what it looks like this morning do you see as you can see our yogurt is really thick it has thickened quite a bit and i mentioned to you guys that the longer you keep it to set the more it's going to get thick so let me go ahead and just show you guys how thick our yogurt has become so if i use my spatula look at that see so this is how thick the yogurt has become the yogurt cultures have been doing some pretty good work so i'm going to just go ahead and scoop some oh my goodness look at that see so look at our yogurt that's yogurt people so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this so we'll just go ahead and give this a gentle whirl just so that it mixes up really really good remember I used Greek yogurt with active cultures in it to get this yogurt going and started okay so 
what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up our jars with our freshly homemade yogurt my kids are going to love it look at that oh spilling but it's okay don't you just love the texture of this yogurt guys so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and cover this all up Woo. cover it all up and get it ready for the fridge guys so there you go guys homemade plain yogurt look at that love 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 it all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you did make sure that you hit the subscribe button like comment let me know how you enjoy your yogurt and also do not forget yogurt probiotics yogurt strong bones yogurt healthy gut flora okay guys i'm going to see you in my next video Mwah. bye